Hi all my sweet and beautiful friends. So today I am just coming with you for a quick little vlog. Um, I might post this tomorrow, I'm not sure. I know I have a video I gotta edit. I've been like, I tried to stay on my game with the um, vlogmas, but I didn't realize like how hard it is, especially when you don't do stuff every single day. Um, and I've been quite busy. So today I just took a drive to my sister's college with her. She was asked to drop off um, I guess for a project they had to do self portraits and hers were really really good so the teacher asked if she would enter them into their like college um, like a art show I guess and you can win prizes I assume so we are here and I just took a drive with her because the school is like 45 minutes from our house so it's a long drive by yourself so we are here dropping off Ooh, my camera moved so we are here all dropping that off for her I worked yesterday um, I have one of her paintings. She'll probably kill me for showing you this, but this is one of them. So this is the one that she did. Um, we decided to do, she had three portraits. This was one of them, which I think is really incredible. And she had a blue one and then a red one. So we picked the other two, but I think she is so talented. It's unbelievable. We're all in the family kind of artsy fartsies, like, you know, in my opinion, makeup is a craft and I'm very like makeup and I like to do nail art and I also love DIY projects, which I think anything that expresses yourself is a form of art and in my opinion. And my sister absolutely loves painting and drawing, that's her form of art. And then my middle sister plays the trumpet she was in the county band. She was lead trumpet at school. She also plays piano, banjo, uh, ukulele, French horn, pretty much any horn instrument she can play. But she originally started with the trumpet and went from there. But piano is her favorite and the banjo and ukulele. So we're all very kind of creative people. But I thought that was incredible and I wanted to show you guys. So I got in the mail the other day. I was so excited. I got my Jeffree Star o-r-g-y palette his all new palette i don't want to say just in case it can cause any trouble with youtube so i was excited and that's what i wore today i don't think you can really see it was very uh just a neutral palette and i usually use shimmer so with all this all matte i feel like it kind of made my eyes look a little weird like a little lifted now my eyes are already quite hooded so my eyes just look weird with no shimmer on them so yeah i don't really have much to talk about yesterday i worked um, just trying to finish up Christmas shopping. Been very stressed out lately. Um, my job's been giving me a hard time. So I've been stressed out with that. And just our routines being kind of messed up with my husband not working. Him being off for uh, like winter break already and everything. It's just been really stressful. So we're just trying to get through this year. Ready for 2022. Ready for a new start with everything. But I thought I would just you know fill this in somewhere put this in with something um i do have a video that i think is going to be a lot of fun i have to edit it when i get home and i'll upload that today and it's going to be unrealistic christmas gifts that i really really want in the future so i thought that would be fun oh that's a really loud airplane i don't know if you can hear that so i think that would be a fun video just showing you some of the really unrealistic things that i want terribly one day um like i had said in the past my husband and i had decided well i shouldn't say he decided i decided that we weren't going to exchange gifts this year because we just bought a house and it's not that our finances are in any kind of trouble i just thought one year you know what i mean it wouldn't kill us but then he called me yesterday when i was working and i said you know, I know something's wrong with you. Like, what you seem very, like, um, kind of, like, not all there. Like, I could just, I know when my husband isn't right. I've been with a guy for 16 years. I, You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, I'm just feeling a little depressed today. And he doesn't use that word lightly. Not my husband, because he doesn't have any mental health issues. So, when he says he's all for feeling a little down, um, I usually, you know, try to investigate and find out what's going on. Um, cause he, like I said, he doesn't use that word lightly. He's like, I don't know. I just feel a little sad. And I, I mean, I guess he doesn't understand like the word depressed is something like a much heavier meaning, but I understood what he meant. And he's like, it just doesn't feel like Christmas not getting you something. He's like, it just seems very weird. Like it just doesn't feel like Christmas. I was like, listen, if it's really going to upset you, we'll just do a small exchange. And then his whole personality changed. So that made him feel so much better. I personally still don't want to because there's literally nothing I want this year. Um, 
I can't think of anything maybe a couple books but like but my husband and I are the type of people like we kind of just if we have it available we just get what we kind of want throughout the year which is a terrible terrible thing to do but then like usually I have a decent Christmas list like I'll want kitchen stuff and books and makeup but like this year I just felt like I've had everything I've ever wanted I bought my dream home um my kid is my daughter's healthy my sisters are healthy I'm relatively healthy my husband is healthy I have all of my loved ones this year and you know I just couldn't ask for much more I have a, a good car that runs um my animals are healthy and got my one dog got back to normal it's like what else could I ask for this year and with the two the year we had last year with the pandemic it's like that we've made it this far with no like craziness we're very lucky so it's like what could I even ask for so that's that um I did get this Jeffree Star lipstick well the lip gloss so when I ordered the orgy palette it also I also ordered which I shouldn't have but this was my birthday gift from him so he got me the palette it was on sale for like 30 bucks which was incredible since it was like 62 I don't know what's going on with my hair. I think my hair is getting to the point where it's like too long. And then styles are like, it's so heavy that my hair is falling too quickly. Um, there it is again, me, you know, getting off t uh, topic. So I ordered Mannequin, which is what I have on today. And it was $10. And with your purchases, you got a free Supreme Gloss. So I got the matching one in Mannequin. And look at the size of it. And let me tell you something, I put this on, it smells like a, like a vanilla cupcake. I put this on yesterday, I think I applied it once for the whole day. I went to work, by the time I got home to make dinner or start dinner, it was still on. I reapplied it, I think, once towards the end of the night before I went and showered. But like, it was really good. And it has like this really, really nice doe foot applicator. Look how fat that is. And somehow, it it just perfectly hugs your lips. So, also, the one main reason we decided that we weren't exchanging gifts this year was because I had asked in, you know, I said, let me get through the wedding because I don't want to do anything drastic. That's why I didn't, I'm supposed to get a tattoo also for my birthday from my sister. And I said, listen, let's get through the holidays and everything. And then I want to go because there's a doctor up by us in Philly that one of my girlfriends went to and got her lips done and a little bit of injections. And literally, she looks beautiful. You wouldn't even know that she had something done. Like, she didn't look drastic. Um, it didn't look crazy. And I was like, you look so stunning that I think I want to go get... Um, I don't know if I need Botox yet because I don't see anything like... My forehead looks pretty good still. I'm 34 now. I just turned 34. And I feel like my face doesn't look like I need anything crazy. I never want to do fillers because I just don't personally love the look of it. I think, you know, it's definitely looks nice on older women who start to um, lose that fullness in their face. I understand that. And I like it. But I feel like when you're young, you don't need it. My face already is very full. And I'm pretty sure that's what a filler is for to make that fullness. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do a little tiny bit because this isn't what my, I mean, I have a decent lip to begin with. I just want a little fullness, more volume this way and maybe a little Botox. That's it. And then my sisters and I are going to get a, well, my sister and I are getting matching tattoos. Um, I just don't know where to put them. So my very, very first tattoo, I was very young and stupid were my finger tattoos I was 18 I just turned 18 I was head over heels in love with my husband and I went and got tattoos on my fingers um I loved them until somebody said something to me and a matter of fact it wasn't even a family member it was a dentist I had gone to and ever since then I've been self-conscious like I know that finger tattoos are much more accepted but in 2007, they were not at all. And I was made to feel like shit. And I had a dentist tell me that I was going to amount to nothing and never be able to work. And unbeknownst to him, I've been with the same company for years working with handicapped people. Um, it just pissed me off. And this is a big regret of mine. And I would like to have them removed. 
Not to mention they're not really like my aesthetic. I just don't like having my fingers tattooed anymore. And I don't know if I would feel the same if someone like that had never said anything to me. I always wonder if that's like where the disconnect came and me starting to hate my tattoos came from. Well, just all my hands. And I shouldn't allow any asshole to make me feel differently about something that I loved at one point. But, you know, you can't control what happens like that. But I've learned to, you know, they're a part of me. It's weird, like... I haven't seen my fingers without tattoos in 16 years, so it would probably be really weird. So then I went to get, I don't think you can even see it, it's just a moon with stars. Literally, the original tattoo was one tiny little star. It was actually this one right here. This big star was the original star. I went in to get it touched up, and I was like, okay, let's add a couple just to make it look cohesive. So then he was going to just add the moon and the stars, and then all of a sudden, he put this background in. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And by the time, you know, I was young, stupid, and I didn't have a voice. So this is the next project I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this covered up. I gotta be the only person in the world who ink never fades. This tattoo is like 14 years old and it's like ink doesn't fade on me at all. So then I have this one and I get this mistaken, believe this or not, so many people have thought this was a grasshopper. I know, it looks like it. Now, this is not something I would have, like, went and picked out for myself. I know feathers are very, like, common, and it's also the end of a dream catcher. But this tattoo was my mom's very first tattoo, and this is, this is how cool this is. So we called the guy, the guy that did it was a family friend. So we called, he's a, he's a licensed tattoo artist. So I called him, I'm like, listen, do you remember doing my mom's very first tattoo? And by the, somehow he remembered, not only did he remember... He had the original stencil. So I thought that was like just perfect. So my sister, my, my two sisters and myself went in on the same night. Um, and he used the original stencil that was my mom's. He did the exact same tattoo. So my mom has it. Well, had this one on her shoulder. I put mine on my forearm. My one sister has it on her shoulder. And then my other sister has it on her side. So those are my three tattoos. So I'm going to get lyrics done and i'm thinking of maybe oh look how bad that burn is i burnt the shit out of myself today i was so damn mad too so i'm thinking maybe here doing because i'm gonna do them horizontally i know vertically is like the big thing but i want them horizontal i just don't know where to put them so any suggestions would be greatly appreciated so i'm thinking of doing let me put you here in the car it's like so awkward because i don't have anything so I'm thinking of right here, like right above the crook or maybe like right underneath. Then I thought about doing it, you know, horizontally up my arm. I'm not sure, but most likely it's going to go like right under my bicep. I guess that's where you would say. So like, oh my God, it's so terrible. So like if you were looking at me, it would be like right here, you know? So I'm thinking that that way when I'm standing like this, you'll be able to see it. Or maybe right underneath. Oh my god, that burn looks horrible. So, let me put you back here. So either, let me see if I can sit up and kind of show you what I mean. Okay, so I would either do it like right here in the bicep area. I guess I've explained that enough. You probably be like, bitch, we heard you. <laughs> so like here, or possibly like right here across. Um, I want it to be quite feminine. They're going to be very girly, the font that I picked. Um, originally I was going to do it over my elbow, but my husband was like, he didn't really love the idea of it. And then I thought maybe like right here, um, I think I'm just going to leave this arm alone and not do anything else on it till I cover up this mess that I have. Um, yeah, I just don't love that. So I think I'm going to cover that up. That's why you shouldn't get tattoos. So you're like a hundred years old so that you don't ever have to make, uh, you know, the, uh, my my husband had to do a complete sleeve to cover up the mess that he did as a young kid too so i'm thinking yeah i think i'm gonna put the lyrics right here i think they'll look really really nice here i would love to do something with my arm but i have so 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 much extra skin from losing weight that i don't know how that would work you know what i mean it might look terrible so i'm thinking like right here would be pretty that way when i'm wearing a short sleeve shirt you would see it 
and I just think it would might it would look nice there um but yeah that's what's going on for now just a short chatty vlog uh just waiting killing time talking to you guys waiting for my sister to come out of campus and I just thought I'd share a few things with you um yeah I think that's everything um not much going on just trying to get through December like everybody else right now uh just nervous with everything going on. A lot of kids at my daughter's school have been getting sick. So we're just trying to keep each other safe. I tell her to make sure she keeps that mask fully on. And I just get nervous at lunchtime. I'm like, you know, try to keep it on even when you're eating. Pull it down, eat, put it back on. It's just scary right now with everything going on. There's been quite a few cases by us. So I'm just trying to keep my kid as safe as possible and my family is safe. Um, it's just scary. It's a very strange time. Very strange. Everything just feels weird. Not just this, just everything. It just seems very off. So, uh, yeah, that's for another day, I guess. Okay, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little chatty vlog of me just kind of catching you up and updating you on what's going on. Nothing really just a little rambly so we are like I said we're just waiting for her to come out uh she had to drop off her art piece and then we we're probably just heading home um I'm upset because I had to I started reading um a book and I really disliked it and I was pushing through and pushing through and I'm on page 200 and I finally DNF'd it because I just couldn't do it anymore I just it, it, it just wasn't for me and I love high fantasy so I don't know what about it I don't like except the guy is um Arab maybe or he's Muslim and some of the terms in the book I read this as reviews too where he was switching between that and like English and it would kind of like not make total sense so some stuff isn't making sense in the book for me um I think it's fabulous that somebody is able to um that every culture every nationality race is able to publish books and I want to read them from everywhere but it just was a disconnect for me and it was upsetting me because I really wanted to love this book because it was very reminiscent of like Aladdin and um it, it's like neat in uh, some of the aspects of the books I really liked but some of it I just couldn't connect with so I kind of just figured I'll maybe put it away get through the holidays read something fun I'm reading the line games right now um from Sarah Shepard I know it's like a kid's book but I wanted to read it for so long I also would love to read the Pretty Little Liar series eventually but yeah I just was upset that I had to DNF my book because uh, I don't like doing that so that is everything today um not much going on just chatting in the car with you guys so I will see you all tomorrow. So I will probably put up my unrealistic Christmas list first and then this little vlog for tomorrow. And yeah, that's about it. So I love you all and I am so grateful every day that anybody watches this because I'm not really sure why you would want to, but it makes me very, very happy to interact with you. That is why I'm here looking for friends, looking to meet people, to exchange recipes with, to exchange advice with, clothing advice, makeup advice, um, living advice, life, anything. That's what I'm here for, um, to give you advice. Anything you want to know about me, anything, you just leave it down below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or if you need anything, let me know. Um, and I appreciate you all and I hope you are all having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you all in the next vlog. And I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye guys.